We think of trade wars maybe in three dimensions, and they're really trade disputes. Uh, so the first dimension are trading agreements that needed to be renegotiated. So think of NAFTA and what that has turned into. Uh, then there is the, the longer term issue of how the United States and the European Union think about their trading relationship. Uh, but the principal trade concern at the moment in the markets is the one between China and the United States, uh, which is really the beginning, we think, of a, a serious strategic arm wrestle between the United States and China. It's currently manifesting itself as a trade dispute with tariffs going up, but that's just one policy tool the United States are using. And we could easily see um, some agreement come between the two presidents at the end of this month, but it doesn't mean that the issue um, will go away. This is going to be a long-term issue um, that is going to be around for some time, maybe decades. And how do we think about it as investors? Um, trade disputes create risks for companies, but they also create opportunities. And uh, the companies we look to invest in, in New Perspective, which is a multinational fund, a fund that's focused on multinational companies around the world, uh, we're looking for those companies that have that little bit of extra wit and wisdom to deal with these kind of concerns. They have the agility and the nimbleness to maybe move their production lines, move their supply chains uh, in order to deal with tariffs or taxation or regulation. And over the 45 years that the fund's been in existence, we've seen embargoes, we've seen trade disputes, we've seen tariffs, we've seen taxes, we've seen regulation. And what we try to focus on are the companies that can work around that and turn the risk into opportunity. There are considerable risks in markets. Uh, when you look at the world from the top down, it always seems a risky place. Uh, it can often paralyze investors, and that's not necessarily a good thing. Over the life of New Perspective, um, which is over 45 years, um, the uh, world markets have generated returns of about 10% per annum in Aussie dollar terms. Um, having been absent, if you were out of the markets over that 45 years, you would have missed out on those returns. And you could easily have done so if you'd looked at the political and macro risks at any point in the last 45 years. But I don't want to belittle the risks that exist. Um, this standoff between China and the United States um, has the potential um, to create all sorts of unforeseen uh, problems, and so that needs uh, watching quite closely. Um, we have seen several billion people join the world's economy um, from the emerging markets. They went at want a better standard of living for themselves and their families, and so that is creating enormous tensions in terms of um, migration and population's response to migration. It can manifest itself in terrorism, it can manifest itself in problems at the Mexican-US border, it can manifest itself in terms of Brexit. And so understanding some of these tensions is, is, is very important. Uh, we also have a number of economies at the moment that have significant current account deficits. In other words, they're having to borrow the money from outside of those countries. And that's putting great pressure on those economies, whether that's Argentina or Turkey or uh, South Africa. And you see currencies under pressure, you see markets under pressure, and that creates problems sometimes social, often economic. But at the same time, it also creates opportunity for the agile investor. And I don't think we should overlook that point.